morning. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Wolfie. Welcome back to more Wolfie. Guys, I don't know if this happens to a lot of you guys, but for me at least, when I wake up, it takes at least like two and a half hours for my eyes to fully open. So right now, they just will not open completely. So I look like a different person at like 11 a.m. and at 2 p.m. I'm a completely different person. But today we are going hunting for, I wanna buy a Canada Goose jacket. I don't have a winter jacket like I was saying, and these jackets are these. There's a swaggy one. I don't know where to find it, but that's the goal by the end of half of today. Cause the second half of today I wanna film, DJ's on a walk right now, Bongo's in the shower, but in the next 20 minutes, we should be on our way to go hunting for this jacket. The second thing I need is an aux cord or an auxiliary cable or an aux cable, whatever you guys call it. The thing to blast your own fucking music in your car because everyone needs one of those. Mine broke, so I need another one. And then lastly, Ryan said that Abercrombie and Finch has uh, jeans that are gonna fit me. Athletic skinny jeans. Athletic skinny jeans. Okay, so we'll see. Personally, I can't find jeans in my length, 36 length, and I have to be, because I'm 6'5", like I said. So please, Abercrombie, just listen to me. I'll do anything you guys want, like sponsor me, please. Please. Fit me. So Ryan just logged on the online site for Abercrombie & Fitch and check that out, yeah. 34 length. It's a flop, guys. So never mind about that one. <laughs> but we're still looking for the goose jacket. Hopefully they have what I want. Athletic skinny jeans, eh? Fresh, they're for bigger who? in the thigh. For who? <laughs> not six. Are you 34 guys. length? 32 length. Guys, I cannot wear anything that's not 36 length. And if I do, it's a force and they just don't fit. So <sighs> I'm about to cut off some of my legs. <sighs> I guess before we go to the stores, we are calling in to see if anywhere has the exact goose jacket that we want. Apparently it's really rare, so we're literally calling into every store. We're taking turns. We all have random ass stores on the line, like right now. Like the camel ones. No? Fuck. Okay. No, no worries. It's all good. Okay, bye. Yeah, M-A-I-T-L-A-N-D. No? So you mean to tell me you don't have the Maitland jackets? Okay, it's all good. Maitland, M-A-I-T. Yeah. No, you don't have it. You don't have it in the jackets. Tuck it. <laughs> Literally 25 stores later, guys. No jacket. Check Ottawa. Oh, we are going back there. Yeah, people. That's actually that's actually a good fucking idea. Less demand in Ottawa, which means we have a higher chance of getting it. That's just business. Less less swag on there. Less swag people, exactly. Yo, shout out to my nigga Dave. The Rito Center is making a new lids, bro. You guys know David loves his fitted hats. He owns like a small percentage in the share of the store, so he is gonna be amped about that business is moving. Comment down below, please stop David buying hats. Please, just stop buying hats. You don't need any more fitted caps. You don't need any more fitted hats, bro. You just don't need them. So last night I actually took off all the pillows except for these two off of my bed. And I don't know why this is one of those Airbnbs or just one of those houses where there's so many pillows, they might as well wrap the couches because it's unsittable, guys. You can't sit on these couches this is literally just for show oh it's missing it's one pillow and it's other one yep there's one more and there's actually a couple down here that we actually packed away so this is all the pillows that I left. because he thought we didn't have enough headspace so there you go guys pillow challenge <laughs> are these sidewalks sidewalks change my life look at that was he delivering food yeah Oh. Yo, shout out to the guy who ran to go deliver his food. That's the true MVP. And run back? Fuck, bro. This guy's off one. Another day, another DJ running away from you. <laughs> another bongo sprinting away from you. Yo, yo. You just can't keep oh, 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 shit. I do not fuck with those grates, guys. I don't fuck with those. I hate heights. I hate those grates. Gotta get my Casey nice at angles. Hold up, man. Casey Neistat has the greatest skills too. No, 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 no. Casey Neistat, here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's lit, guys. We're in the Uber going to Burger Priest. Yo, guys, I'm having a meetup at Hooters today, and the lineup is insane already. Hold up. It's blurry. But as you guys can see, there is a line all the way around the corner going back there. I just tweeted out 10 minutes ago that I was having a meetup, so. <laughs> Wolfram's crazy out here, guys. Anyways, we're going to Burger Priest. Priests sell burgers, apparently. They bless them and shit, so we're about to eat. Guys, look how disgusting this burger is. No matter what you do though, even if you get a greasy burger with greasy fries and greasy ketchup, just top it off with water, <laughs> everything will be absolutely fine. So, guys, this bag of fries seemed never ending. Literally, I ate so many fries and I poured them out and this is what, this is only half of what's left, okay guys? Like, I feel like they just gave me like the whole back room supply of fries. I wanna shout out to the priest that blessed my burger because my burger got absolutely murked. Top three greatest burgers I've ever had. Prank attempt number 96. I'm gonna scare Ryan and DJ when they come around this corner. Ninety-eight, ninety-eight. I'll get him on hundred. Are you out? You're going? 
<laughs> All right, be seeing you, bro. What? I heard and be seeing you, bro. <laughs> I heard be, see right, oh, be seeing you, bro. Guys, you have to explain uh, a joke. It just means that the person you're joking around with no, is it, it's it, horrible. It, no, no, it doesn't mean it's horrible. It means they're not educated enough to understand the joke. So we made a quick pit stop at Tim Hortons basically to pick up coffee because the meal that we just ate, apparently it's supposed to make you tired. It gives you the itis. Bongo said that our Airbnb is 500 meters away from where we are right now. I was going to call an Uber. They wanted to walk. So basically, this is one meter. If I take any more than 500 steps and we're not at the Airbnb, you owe me $600. 500 steps, guys. Starting now. One, two. <laughs> and that ends up my montage, guys. I hope you enjoy. 770 billion thousand? No way was this place 500 meters away. We are now like at least 20 fucking miles from where we were. <laughs> you owe me a billion dollars. Okay, you guys know when they're playing a commercial and they're trying to fit in as much talking as possible into the shortest period of time? This is insane. Listen to this one right here. I'm gonna rewind it. That's how insane this is for you. You will not believe how fast this nigga's about to talk. This is not sped up. I'll sit beside the TV so you know this is not a troll. Here we go. Operate the Dino Super Drive Zord, Mega Zord, and Dino Charger Pack and other toys each sold separately. Brought to you by Toys R Us. <laughs> what? Bro, okay, I'll buy it. I'll buy five. <laughs> Fastest talker in the world, bro. Fastest talker in the world. Okay, guys, so I'm about to put one of the biggest life hacks to the test right now. You know when you're in an elevator and someone like trolls and presses a billion buttons, like when you're with your friends, I know I do it. <laughs> I'm the fucking king of doing that. Apparently, if you want to cancel the floor number, all you got to do is double click the floor and it should cancel out that floor. So like the light will go off and it will continue to go to every other floor but that floor. So I'm going to put it to the test. This is just a life hack that my buddy just told me. So who knows? I'm in a fucking Airbnb right now. It has like 50 something levels. So let's try this out. We'll go down. Now we wait. We got one. We got one and no one's in it. So I clicked 17 and 18. Let's try the double click. Okay, guys. So that one didn't work. What? Was it double click? <laughs> Might be canceled. Started. Double click should be cancel. 18th floor. Going down. No, now we're there. We gotta cancel 17. We'll click floor and then we'll cancel out 17. We'll try the holding tactic. Nope. <laughs> Alright, guys, scratch everything I said. This life hack doesn't work and now we're just like not ready. Going down. Now what? It was the hold. It was the hold? Do you think fucked it up? No, the hold brings it just to four. Just to four? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna skip ten. And go straight to four. <laughs> you sure? That's what the hack was. Okay. So then why we stop at ten? <laughs> Guys, it only works at some elevators. Well, so, uh, so fuck the sack. Cancel everything I said. It might work at your apartment. Who knows? All right, guys, we're going down to the lobby. Ryan didn't even wear shoes. <laughs> yo, yo, go back we up. Like we gotta get back up. What, don't worry. So the moral of that story is, guys, don't trust a single thing you hear on the internet. It's all lies. Me and Ryan were amped. We were like, yo, we're gonna try this out. Maybe, just maybe, if our friend ever tries to troll us or if I ever try and troll my friends, they can cancel it by just double clicking, but the double clicking ain't working, clearly. So maybe it's just like a select few number of elevators, but it didn't work at this one. So in my mind, it works at none of them. This is a crazy life hack, though. If you have garbage and it starts to stink, you throw it in to the garbage can and then your house won't smell as bad. That is a fucking crazy life hack. If you guys haven't tried that out, go try it out for sure. It's a great, I love it, great life hack. <laughs> Look at all this food, guys. So what happens when you uh, are in an Airbnb and you're too lazy to actually leave it? You just order all of this food. Okay, that's not, not an appealing look. This one, though. Ew. One thing you guys gotta know about Ryan is he fucking takes all the slices from the pizza place What? Or from the box before anyone can touch them so that no one can touch them because they're already on his plate He's claimed them, but he won't even eat them. What? So you eat them all. All. Oh. Four pieces? Mm. Okay, bless. If you don't finish them. I'll have more. Okay, jam. Just jam. What? Finish your slices first. If you guys want to snake your friends when you get food, just put it on your plate and then they can't touch it. Uh, <laughs> and chicken alfredo. Woo! Guys, I can't even believe I called it. Ryan legit brought his food back. What? And put it in no. here. Oh my god. He couldn't finish it. I'm like, what, bro? How are you going to do that to a wolf fam? He's that like, yo, yo, put the wrong. camera on me and I'll tell you that I finished the food, bro. Your pizza's right here. That's why it split up. Okay, no, Ryan finished it. <laughs> and he's grabbing more? Got any more, bro? This chicken okay, one. Just chill on shoes. both slices. Diet Wolfie and Diet Ryan are not <laughs> alive right now. This is Airbnb Diet Wolfie Diet Ryan, <laughs> aka Pizza Ryan. Okay, guys, so we're leaving today. I gotta do one thing before we leave this Airbnb, and that's just let this guy know. I <laughs> 
Don't ever be disrespectful to Wolfie again. So guys, I didn't end the vlog last night, but that's because I'm continuing it on to today. So right now we are headed off to go get something for me. Basically what I've been hiding for the past couple days is I bought a new car. I'm not gonna show it to you right now, but I'm gonna show you my reaction, my live reaction of me picking it up right now. Hopefully it's a good one. You know, I'm amped right now. <laughs> and then I get to go home. <gasps> All right, that's, all right. That's, disgusting. that's disgusting. Oh my god. Okay, guys, it's today's fucking car. Oh my god. So, guys, we are at the more than halfway point back to Ottawa. Literally, just a quick, quick drive because in the new car, it just feels amazing. I literally was just zoned out listening to music. I didn't even like count down how far we were from my house. But we have to stop at my parents' house as soon as we get there because I have winter tires or no summer tires I need to drop off. There's a few things I need to do still to my car before I want to show it to you guys fully, but that's coming soon. So, get ready. That's your view of my car right now. What's up, guys? So, I'm continuing the vlog off. The past couple days have been like out and about. I've just been driving back and forth between here in Toronto so I haven't been able to vlog too much just because I can't vlog and drive like a five-hour drive at the same time but we're back in action we are in Ottawa right now it's Bongo's birthday tonight continuing the live vlog off with Wolfie Jr. he's just licked his ass and then kissed me in the face we are gonna go to the boys house to chill before we go out tonight but one thing about the boys house is that Jad just got a new pair of Yeezys so I'm gonna see if I can fucking prank this guy I'm gonna pretend to light them on fire or something I'm not quite sure but the lighting on fire seems just really good to me so Jad I know you're gonna watch this vlog like a day late and uh, it's gonna be too late by that time, so just, oh, hey! oh my God. He just licked his ass again. Chad, you're getting pranked. You know those shopping trips where you have a billion things to carry up all at once, but you don't wanna make multiple trips? That's what I just did. I literally had all these in my hands like this and I was just, eh, eh, carrying them all the way to my house to the point where my hand got the circulation cut off of it, but you gotta do it. You can't do multiple trips. So you guys know how I have a new intro for my channel. David just showed me he has a new intro for his channel. Check how poppin' it is. <laughs> Shut that, <Jesus. laughs> That is my fucking table. text over my text. <laughs> and then the sriracha, just like... Oh Sasa my god. <laughs> Bro, he trolled. He didn't even sing the Sasa G. Just cut it. Sasa G. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoever made that intro. What do you want? What do you want? You want an intro too, Wolfie? All right, we'll get you an intro, Wolfie. We'll get you an intro. So guys, Jad just went upstairs, but look at this. We have his Yeezy Boost 350. <laughs> Do you want to burn these, Wolfie? Do you want to burn these? Okay, don't bite my camera. Here they are, guys. The real Yeezys. How swag are these? Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna close this box. Okay, Dad's coming. Put them here. So, we are going to be doing stuff. Wolfie, go follow Dad. Wolfie, go follow him. Down the stairs. Come here, down the stairs. Follow Jad. Come here, Wolfie. Follow your uncle. Come here. Yeah. Come on. Come here. He hates stairs. Come on. Yeah. All right, Wolfie. You can prank with me. Okay, guys. So this is basically what the Yeezy box looks like with the Yeezys. I'm going to try and replicate that with my shoes that don't really look like the Yeezys. But from a distance outside, they're going to look like the Yeezys. And some tissue paper. I'm going to let the tissue paper burn over here. Hopefully, they don't burn my shoes right away. Otherwise, my shoes are murked. But... I'm gonna bring this outside. This is what Jad's box is. I'm gonna call Jad upstairs, light it on fire, and then see if he gets the show. Wolfie, watch out. Yeah, Gotta put the Yeezys, the Yeezys outside. I'm gonna put them right here, leave them there, and then, Wolfie, what are you eating? And we're gonna call Jad up. Of course, some water because safety precautions, guys. We always gotta have the water nearby. Yeezys are there. Water's right here. I'm praying it doesn't go in smoke too quick. Okay, guys, so it's time. I'm gonna call Jad from downstairs. Prank season, boy. Yo, Jad! Jad! Where is it? Jad! I think he's upstairs. This guy might be showering. Yo, Jad! Yo! What are you saying? <laughs> Yo, come here! Yo, Jad! Yo, Jad! What are you, what are you saying? What up? Come here! I'm, I'm just showering. Oh. Okay, okay, guys, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, guys, so since Jad's showering right now, David's asleep over there. I'm gonna wake David up and see if we can prank him, even though they're not his shoes. Who gives a fuck? Burning Yeezy's prank. It's good. <laughs> Yo, David, come here. David. What? I need your help. I was sleeping, dude. Yo. What? What do you think Jad would do if I burnt his Yeezy's? Don't, 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 don't. I have to. 
No, no. Because he didn't, he was showering. He bro, he spent so much money on this. I know, but bro, what if I just like, just went like this? <laughs> just like that, bro. Just not even for the Yeezys. Yo, take them off. No, no, no. Just leave it. Just leave it, bro. Are you crazy? Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave the Yeezys there. Just leave the Yeezys. Just leave the Yeezys. Bro, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're they're just leave the Yeezys. Just leave the Yeezys. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, oh, shit. 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 Fucking believe the Yeezys. All right, you're lucky, Jad, that Dan's a good friend. You uh, use his Yeezys to put out the fire. No. <laughs> These aren't my Yeezys. These are my shoes, and they're murked out. <laughs> Subscribe, Ryan Space. <sighs> this guy. <laughs> Give him the camera for half a second so he does. So it's birthday season, guys. My dad is having his birthday at Baton Rouge. Everybody's already there. I was at the boys' house. I had to do some things before I came here. I'm late so I don't get to eat, but I had my burrito earlier, so I'm pretty much good. So Sylvia's gonna come out the front right now and get your boy. I haven't been to this location. Usually there's one like downtown, but I haven't been to the one that's near my house. So we're gonna get some grub, say what up to my dad, and then go turn up tonight. So I got here right as everyone's leaving, guys. It was pointless for me to come, but at least I'm walking outside with them. Okay guys, so we are about to go out right now. Sylvia still isn't ready to go, but me and Ryan are fucking ready. Sylvia. You ready? So he's not ready. We're swagging out tonight. I'm using Jad's chain. I don't have a chain. I need to get a gold chain. But I'm gonna end the vlog off there. It's been like three days condensed into one. I'm just vlogging what I can vlog because there's so much boring shit going on behind the scenes that you guys aren't seeing. I'm trying to get it all done so that my vlogs could be absolutely lit again. But I'm gonna end the vlog off there. If you guys enjoyed this, big surprise coming up for you guys soon. Go down and smash that like button. Let's hit 25,000 likes, Wolf Fam. You already know what it is. Also, active follower of the day. Shout out to Bam, Megan. Shout out to you, Megan. I see you on my Twitter. Show me mad love in the comments. Comments, you're the best and lastly the comment of the day that I want you guys to comment down below is Jad We about to prank you next time just Jad We about to prank you next time because Jad you're lucky you were taking a shower I had to prank David instead of your ass, but I'm gonna get you soon mark my words by the way I got it. I got a fresh haircut guys So just keep that anyways again I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys soon on more Wolfie where we stay a little bit more savage on my main channel and as always stay savage Lego hey.